I remember, uh, I remember being 21 years old, um, and at that time in my life, uh, I met a young man. He lived in D.C., very attractive. Uh, he was the first, like, boy boy, you know, I had ever dated. Um, and he had his own place, you know, he had just graduated from college. He was two years older than me at the time. Um, he was 23. We were dating during a period of time where my boyfriend and I um, had broken up for the first time. My boyfriend at the time had cheated on me. I was really emotional. I was going through a lot because that was the first time in my life I had ever dealt with being in love with someone and having them cheat on me and going through that whole breakup process. So this dude I met, the boy boy who lived in D.C. came at like the perfect time in my life. Um, and we liked each other a lot. You know, we did. We waited um, quite some time before we were intimate. But what really sort of um, turned me off from him was the fact that after our first um, period of being intimate, our, the first time he and I actually um, physically did anything, one of the things that he said to me was like, you know, you know, why are you so hairy? And I was like, what do you mean you know and he's like well you have a lot of hair he was like do you ever think about like shaving it or you know getting rid of it because it sort of like gets in the way and i was offended like i was so angry you know at him for saying that to me and when i was 21 i wasn't hardly like I am now. Like I wasn't open to criticism. I was very defensive. People couldn't say really anything to me without me jumping off the handle. Um, which is why I'm glad that God blessed me with my platform now instead of back then. Um, but I just, sorry, I have, I'm drinking my tea. Um, I just remember during that period vowing that I would never speak to him again. I vowed that like I would never say another word to him ever again. How dare he talk to me like that and this, that, and the other. And so I went back home. Um, and about two weeks later, I remember being in the bathroom and I was shaving my face because I've always had facial hair. Like I've always had facial hair. So I remember shaving, get ready to get in the shower and I'd taken all my clothes off and I was standing in the mirror. And for one of like the very first times, I remember actually looking at my body, like actually looking at my body. And I saw all the hair I had on my chest, my stomach, my arms, my thighs, my legs, my ass, everywhere. Um, and what dude said to me about my, the hair on my body sort of ran through my mind. And I took my clippers after shaving my face and I just started shaving the hair on my chest. And I started shaving the hair on my stomach. I started shaving my arms. You know, I started shaving um, my lower regions. And after I was done, I got in the shower. Um, you know, and I came back out, uh, dried off and everything and started putting lotion on my body and I really liked the way I looked, you know. It was my first time really ever, number one, having someone point that out to me and then actually taking the time to examine myself and then to shave my body and I really liked the way it looked. So I finally called dude, you know, a couple of days later and asked if I could come see him. And I got on the mark train and rode to D.C. And he met me at the train station and we got back to his house and I wanted him to see my body, you know. So I initiated a play session and the way he responded to me was almost like whew, 10 times greater than our first time. He never said like, oh, I really, oh, so you listened to me, you got rid of the hair, you shaved it off, it looks good. He never said any of that. He just sort of, you know, I guess his, his physical response to me let me know that he really liked the way I looked, the way my body looked without the hair. And from that day forward, like for the next nine years of my life, you know, I've always, at least once a week, I always shave my chest, my stomach, um... I've stopped shaving my arms and my hands. If you can see, I still look kind of werewolfy. You see, I have a, I'm very, very hairy. This is how my chest and my, my 
the rest of my body looks when I don't shave. So I no longer shave the hair on my arms and my hands, but I shave everywhere else on my body at least once a week, Saturdays, Sundays, or if it's like the middle of a week and I'm getting ready to go out on a date or I'm going out to a club or something. It makes me feel sexy. I don't know. It, it does. It just makes me feel sexy to know that the hair isn't there. Um, and sort of that's why I think for me, it's hard for me to be attracted to other men who have body hair. It's weird because, you know, I have conversations with my sister and she likes her men to have hair on their bodies. I think it, it, it adds to their masculinity as far as she's concerned. And most recently I've met guys who get upset at the fact that I do shave my body hair. Like, I realize there are some men and some women who really do enjoy it, but I just really am not one of them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very open with my life. Um, and many of you know that I love to munch. I'm a muncher. Um, and if you don't know what that is, you really probably shouldn't even be watching this video. Um, I'm a muncher. And that's why I really appreciate dudes who, who take the time to, to nair their hair away, you know, in those lower regions, especially that area between the nutsack and like the hole. I don't want to be too graphic, but like nair can be your very best friend. It smells terrible, you know, and if you leave it on too long, it can be rather disastrous. But a lot of people don't realize that that pubic hair and all that, it holds odor. So no matter how clean you think you are and, 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 and everything of that nature, like hair holds odor. And everything is so much sexier and it's so much more appealing, for me at least, when I'm with a dude who really rids his body of all of that, you know? Because the first time I knew it was the summer of 03 or 04, 03, the first time I went to Miami. Um, it wasn't for pride, it was with my um, family. but. I had taken my boyfriend with me, well, with us, and um, I remember both of us using Nair for men to get rid of all the hair in those crevice areas. And the first time I saw everything that came out on that washcloth, like I was so disgusted, but I was so grateful because, like, I think across the board, I think more people appreciate a hairless lower region than those who prefer hair. You know what I mean? I don't know. For me, it's a personal preference. It adds a certain level of of appeal it makes it especially sessions a lot more enjoyable um i like to see completely what i'm working with you know and when when the body's covered with all this other gunk and it's hard to uh but i'm just curious you know this is a very relaxed video for me i'm it's morning um how many of you indeed out there prefer your partners to have body hair how many of you think it's very sexy and it's very natural and you know, you prefer your men to have that sort of masculine look. And how many of you are like me and you prefer your man's body to be hairless, you know, especially in those lower regions. Nair can be your best friend. Um, a pair of really nice clippers, you know, for all the outside regions and that Nair for all those crevice areas. It can definitely be your best friend. So weigh in, share your commentary. Uh, I look forward to reading. I want to thank you all so much for the continued levels of support, especially for the thousands of you who visit my website, zimvanadams.com, on a daily basis. I love you, uh, and I appreciate all the kind words you guys share with me via Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, all the emails you guys send me uh, via Gmail and Yahoo. It's just, it's been an amazing ride, and uh, I hope that we can continue this journey, traveling together, conquering the world. One word at a time. So many obstacles try to weigh me down, but I won't let that stop me. Bow to be clear for lift off. From the sky, no drama allowed to ride. Tired of following, leading to dead ends, taking control this time.